of us are born loving to learn and we action learn from the moment we're born. So when we're born, we have two problems that we have the moment we're born, two challenges. We want to learn how to walk and we want to learn how to talk. That's all children universally worldwide. And so they don't learn by having the, the parents teach them, okay, now here, make this sound or make this movement. Children do action learning. So every time a child makes a sound, the subconscious of the child is saying, is that sound working? Is, am I getting more understood? Or how can I make the sound better? And every movement they make, they say, is that working, helping me? What am I doing well and help me getting to walk? And how could I improve that? Their subconscious continuously asks questions, which gets them to reflect and which gets them to learn. Because improving an action can only be done by learning. You cannot improve any action unless you learn how to do it a little bit better. And you cannot learn without reflecting. And you cannot reflect without a question. So innately, we're all endowed with this ability to ask the two most important questions of life. What are we doing well? And what are we? what can we do better? We don't ask questions what we're doing poorly. It's always what are we doing well. That's the natural question. And so until the age of two, all children use action learning. And they learn faster in life than any time after that. Because within two years, they could speak three or four languages perfectly without any grammar lessons or t adults telling them what to do. And they walk and jump and skip. And then at the age of two or shortly thereafter, when they can now verbalize their questions, they get discouraged from using questions. Their parents say, stop asking so many questions, you're embarrassing, so I don't have time, and so forth. So children who naturally ask questions, reflect, and learn, now go from acting their way to learning, to learning how to act. And mm. so adults, teachers, bosses, right. tell them how to act. And so what action learning say, no, in today's environment, it's too slow, and you don't develop skills that way. You have to experience something, reflect on it, and learn, as opposed to being told how to do something, because every situation is unique and different, and it's too slow. So action learning really is the application of the most powerful natural way for learning, and that's why action learning works in every environment, every culture, because it's the way all infants learned until the age of two.